you're going to need trees. Time spent out in the field has really paid off. Sacrifice a few shots. I saw something really quite special, I think. A bit too quick and I wasn't, wasn't ready. So this week I've been down in my local woodland and I've been trying to photograph tree creepers. What are tree creepers? Well, they're a little bird with a mottled back that very closely resembles the bark of the trees that it creeps up and down. It spends its life, seemingly, crawling up and down, creeping up and down trees, feeding off the insects that live in between the bark. They are quite difficult to see if you're not looking for them, really. They're well camouflaged, um, and they tend to stick in trees. <clears throat> Best thing to do is look for signs of movement that they go up a tree feeding and then they'll drop to the base of it of another tree and then go up that tree drop to the base of another tree so on so forth uh, another good way of identifying them is by learning their bird call so often they'll be high up in the tree and sound will be the first indication that they're around so if you get the bird call down you know you can stop, have a look around, and you can probably find one and follow it from there. Um, as for what they sound like, here they are. In terms of where to find them, obviously you're going to need trees. Um, my spot is a local woodland that's near my house. Because I've spent a lot of time down here, I know roughly where I can find them. They don't have very big territories, I think. When they've been studied, they've sort of stuck within 500 metres of their nest sites and what have you, and they don't tend to go too far. So you know pretty well that if you've seen one somewhere before, you're probably gonna see it there again. They can be quite tricky to photograph, and I'll explain why. I have found I use the Sigma lens, the 150 to 600, and obviously that's got quite a high aperture, um, <clears throat> 6.3. So when you're in places like woodland, that can be a little bit difficult, um, particularly if it's overcast and a bit grimy anyway. There's not a lot of light. Um, I'm shooting on the EOS R most of the time, um, so I can push the ISO up quite a bit. But even then, because it's such a small bird, you tend to have to crop in a bit. And if you're increasing your ISO that much, you're obviously degrading the image quality. So it's uh, finding a balance. Um, I'm quite happy to sort of ride the shutter a little bit. Yeah, I've managed actually managed to get some sharp images at like 250th of a second, um, somewhere around there. So yeah, don't be afraid to, to ride it a little bit. Um, and I just make sure I shoot a lot and hope that I get a few that will be sharp. It can be quite good to come out in a on a sunny day because you'll find that you get that sort of dappled light and if you catch them in the shade it's actually quite a good good sort of um yeah good shooting environment but they can be a little bit tricky because of those reasons so something to bear in mind. Uh, in terms of time of year I'm actually shooting this video in March. It's quite a good time of year because um, obviously all the birdies are getting more active. Um, there's lots of like woodland birds around that are making all the signs of making nests and what have you. And um, yeah, there's still not many leaves on the trees, so that's pretty good because it it means that you've got lots of activity, but it's not all hidden by foliage, which makes it a bit easier to shoot. Um, but because no one comes here and it's private, it is all very flighty. So you do have to exercise quiet and, you know, slow approach and what have you. But for tree creepers, that's not really much of an issue. They are quite tolerant of, of me. Um, as long as you move slowly around them, I think you're not really a threat to them.
yeah, a little further note about um, sort of goes into the settings that I use for this is that I'm often handheld. It's uh, you know Sigma 150 600. It is a big lens. But I can carry it all right. And with these little woodland birds, when you're trying to photograph them, they're so quick that I just find if you have things mounted on a tripod, you're often chasing them and not quite catching them properly. Um, I obviously use a tripod for video when I'm shooting video of them and um, just try and leave everything as loose as I can so I can be flexible and then quickly tighten if I need to. But yeah, generally, if I'm walking around the woods looking for tree creepers, I'll, I'll go handheld, sacrifice a few shots, take a few more just to ensure that hopefully I'm going to get a sharp one. So yeah, they've adapted to their environment pretty well as well, tree creepers. So I already said that they've got that sort of mottled bark looking back, which is obviously going to help um, hide them from predators who are on the lookout for a quick meal. But they've got this white chest as well, which is going to reflect light back. So they're going to get to see all the little insects and whatever that are living in the crevices in the in the bark which they feed on. So it's a it's a nifty little bird. Um, just saw two. I don't know whether they're getting ready to mate or whether they're st uh, staking out territory. But they are flying around. Nearly got some video footage of it, but not quite. Um, they're just a bit too quick, and I wasn't wasn't ready. <laughs> So yeah, another, another thing that's a little bit tricky with tree creepers is getting a good background to your photographs. There's uh, two issues really, is uh, sky and branches. So obviously you're shooting in woods, so there's a lot of branches in the way. So getting a clear shot can be a little bit difficult sometimes, or getting enough of a um, distance between the tree creeper and the next set of branches so that it blurs out nicely. Um, and the other issue is that you often spot them when they're quite high in the tree, so you're shooting towards the sky. Um, this is alright on overcast days, but on sort of clear days where the sky is going to bleach out, it just doesn't look very good. Um, so best thing to do is just keep watching them, and eventually they'll drop down to the base of another tree or lower on another tree, and it'll probably give you a better opportunity to um, get a cleaner background. So yeah, just trial and error really. So yeah, I'd spent a bit of time working with these tree creepers trying to get a few shots and I'd got a few that I was pretty happy with really. Um, and I was just sitting down, about to head off home. Then, yeah, I saw something. I managed to catch something on camera that I didn't think I'd have a chance of seeing, really. Um, so here it is.
That's right, a tree creeper nest. Um, it was, yeah, it was great to see that. I mean, it's time of year where they'll be building them, so um, as I spent a lot of time with them, it's hardly surprising, but they could have been anywhere in this woods and it just happened to be that it was quite close to the path that I walk along. Um, so yeah, I spent a little bit of time filming them there. But what they tend to do is find uh, <coughs> a bit of bark that's pulled away from the tree and then just stuff it with grass and spider webs and feathers and anything they can find and then nest behind the bark, which is a really good approach, you know, it's quite safe. But this one is really low on a tree, so it'll be interesting to see how it how it pans out. But um, it's good having that, knowing where that is for the coming season. Hopefully I'll be able to get a shot of some chicks if the, if the you know, if the breed is successful, the brood is successful. Um, and we'll go from there, yeah. So again, it's just a, another instance of time spent out in the field has really paid off and you know I saw something really quite special I think so yeah it was really good uh, whilst I've been out here as well there's been a few you know I've spotted a few other things been down early in the morning seen deer there's been bullfinches um, so yeah I might tag a couple of those shots onto the end just so you can have a look at them so there you go there's a few of my tips on how I shoot tree creepers um, I'm sure there's plenty of other ways to do it as well so if you've got any other ideas that you can send me, please let me know in the comments. And if you've liked this video, um, well, like it and subscribe. Nice one. See you out there next time.